Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so this time we're going to be building a roof rack for all of our solar panels using pieces of Unistrut, just like this. <laughs> So basically we've got four pieces of three meter long Unistrut, which looks like this. It's kind of like some adult Meccano set, which is pretty cool. And there's actually points on our transit already where you would mount a roof rack. The reason we're building ourselves is because the roof racks you can buy are something like 700 pounds plus, which we don't want to do. All of this kit all together should cost us well under 100 pounds, probably not much more than 50 really. We're going to have one of these going on each side of the van as the kind of lengthways pieces. We just raise them off the metal roof. So we've just got these rubber spacers we basically bought, which are pretty cool, just hard rubber. So this is gonna be bolted down in four places on the roof. And that is these ones going across that way. And then, very conveniently, turns out the three meter channel is pretty much exactly the right size to cut in the middle and have two pieces going widthways on the van because the van width is around about one and a half meters on the top. So we're gonna cut these in two and then these will go this way around on the van and then you have these cool little pieces which are like uh, apparently they're called a Zebedee after the magic roundabout supposedly it looks like that so just got some m8 bolts and then these are going to go against the van roof then we just got a little washer the washer goes in there like that and then the bolt just goes through those and then actually screw straight into the van because the transit actually has pre-threaded holes which we can literally screw in Obviously we have to put a little bit of sealant around here just to make it watertight, but that is basically the idea. So that's going to hold these in place. That's the lengthways ones. And then with these ones, the Zebedees, they've got little grooves in here and teeth which will bite into the channel and just kind of lock it in place when the bolt's in. So that is just going to go in here. And then you just push it down and twist it. And it's already gripped. It will move, but it's, you know, it, it is fixed in there. And once we bolt it, that won't move at all. And then we have a couple of these square plates just to raise the height of the sideways, the widthways ones. Then we put the widthways one across there. And then another washer. <laughs> I've literally got a bag of 100 of these things. And then finally another bolt. That goes through into that spring. And obviously that will need to be um, cut down to size. And then the cool thing is, once we've actually mounted our solar panels in this, if you think about it, it gives us a lot of flexibility because we can move this all the way along. So if we need to move our solar panels further down the roof, we can just unbolt it and slide it down. Or if we want to add another solar panel in the future, we can just make space for that. So it's, yeah, it should be pretty cool. If we can get this right. All right, so all the sheep are down in the field now, which is actually really handy because it gives us a lot of space to be able to spray paint these beams and leave them to dry. So we want to spray them black, so we've got some black hammerite paint to spray them, but because they're galvanised, it won't stick very well to that, so we're just going over them first with this uh, etch primer, which is uh, ideal for difficult surfaces, including galvanised metal. So they're going a nice kind of grey colour, down the two at the back, and then uh, once those are dry, tomorrow we'll go over and uh, paint the black. Nice. Oh, it smells like um, Paint. licorice or something. <laughs> a bit patchy, but. You don't need a few coats, I think. Yeah. It is a beautiful day today. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to be outside actually doing stuff for a while because we had to detour and get some more paint. <laughs> Could only actually manage to get one can, so what we're going to do is just concentrate on finishing the two long beams going across there, and then we've got some more paint on order, and when that comes, we'll do the rest. You would think, in the whole of Exeter, that there'd be more than one can of spray paint. There was. <laughs> it was just the wrong colour. <laughs> Oh, 
They're all dry now, so you just got to take them off and get them on the top. They're pretty good, I think. Yeah, they look awesome, actually. Yeah, I'm glad we went with a uh, spray paint. All right, so we're up on the roof, or on a ladder, almost on the roof. And these are the spots where the roof rack uh, mounting points are. So they've nicely left this piece for us. And there's five going down. So there's another one there, another one there. We're only using four though. We're only using four. Just heat up that little bubble. And then... Go underneath, so the other way, that's it. Just kind of peels off. Pretty easy. There's the plug. <laughs> oh, what a treat to be doing it on such a nice day, is it? Yeah, it's actually it's fairly warm today. It's warm and there are no nice. clouds at all. Yeah. It's nice. It's where you can start to imagine a roof deck. There's a couple of beers up here again. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if that happens. Um, but so far, a couple of them, the bolts have lined up nicely. One over there, we've had to just sand back this little bit here to make it line up properly. And this one, unfortunately, is quite far off. Once we've got this gunk off of here, we're going to go and hammer right all these little bit, 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 bleh, 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 bits of bare metal. Leave it overnight and then we'll get the rack on tomorrow. So what we've done is just got a drill bit and just extended this side of that hole just so that the drill, the bolt that we've got can actually fit properly in there. We've got to go and do the other side now. So we've done four, two of them were completely fine, one yep. of them needed a light filing and this one needed quite a lot. Yeah. It's pretty good so far. Not too bad, not too bad. So this job is going a bit too easy isn't it? <laughs> we're kind of waiting for something to go wrong. And it hasn't yet, so touch wood. Touch metal. Yeah. <laughs> there's no ladder. wood, there's a wooden ladder. <laughs> Good job that didn't land in the hammer, right? <laughs> Oops. So we're just finishing up for today now. We've just uh, finished hammer writing all of the holes and we've just put some dip pots over the hole overnight just while the hammer writer dries, just in case any water comes in overnight, which is not supposed to, but you never know. For the dew and stuff really, isn't it? Yeah. What's this one? This is like um, an apple pie case. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Mr. Kipling. Who would have thought there'd be a Mr. Kipling apple pie case as a useful tool in our van build? Anything can happen. Right, done. All right, so we've done one, which is over here, which I think looks all right. Looks pretty tidy, Abby. Not too bad. Good job. We're just cutting out some mastic strip or W4 tape, butyl tape, however you want to call it, and just putting it around this circle. Then we're putting these in and just threading it down. And then we're going to get some Sikaflex EBT, putting it around the edge on top of that tape and then just smoothing it into place. And then we're just gonna leave this here while the Sikaflex cures um, for an hour or so. And starts then, to cure at least. Yeah, starts to cure. And then we'll come along, we'll take these out, lay the uni strut on top and bolt it back in.
bad luck if a chicken walks under a ladder. <laughs> so Abby's just working on the last hole over there and uh, she's going a lot faster than me. I think she's a lot better at this job. My fingers are just a bit too fat, I think, and I'm finding it really hard. Well, I've done about two of the holes and you've done the other six, probably. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah. <laughs> I think I've actually spent more time cleaning the mess I've made on the roof than actually putting the sealant on. Definitely. All right, so we've brought the Unistrut bar onto the roof and it doesn't quite line up with the holes in some places. The two in the middle do not quite align up to where the slots are, which uh, means we're, it's not a big problem. We're just gonna have to um, get a drill and make a make an extra little hole. All right, we just thought we'd just come up, just bolt it in. Jobs are good and in about five minutes. <laughs> it's always something. It's gonna look pretty good though, isn't it? So we've got a nice enough day now that we can put our roof rack on the roof. Yay! So we're just going to put some thread locker on the bolt just to stop it from coming loose over time. And then we've just got to bolt it in. Yeah, that came out quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> Right, the lengthways bars are in and secured and feel pretty solid. They're pretty happy with that. So on our roof rack so far we're putting on three solar panels, three 175 watts, so we're a total of 525 watts of solar. Let's get this guy out. third panel and what we're doing is just arranging the panels here in the configuration we're trying to put them on in the roof. This is what you had earlier. <laughs> so there we go so that's the shape of the van and uh, as you can see it's that's, quite... That's the back. That's the back yeah. Front. It's quite satisfying but two of the panels going width ways is pretty much exactly the right size for one of these half pieces of Unistrat that we cut yeah. and uh, and then just enough space to fit in the other one and that all should fit nice and tidy up on the roof just behind the fan. Yeah, okay. pleased with that. Very cool. Oh, it's so nice and sunny right now. We're literally generating electricity, we just can't tap into it yet because mm -hmm. it's going to be a little while before we get it wired in. But we are going to get them up on the roof. Uh, so to do that we've got some mounting brackets, that, um, so they're energy panels and we basically just bought three packs of uh, mounting brackets. So that is for fixing to the panel and the panel already has some holes going down the aluminium frame that we can mount these two using the bolts they gave us. And then the other side of it, we're gonna mount it to the Unistrut. So we've got a little um, Zebedee springy thing that's gonna go in there onto that channel, like that. And then I'm gonna put one of the square bolts on top and then basically just put on the bracket. We might actually put it, which is probably upside down in our case, because I'm imagining this is designed to lift it off the ground to give some airflow underneath, but because our panels are already raised anyway, we might actually just put it like that, upside down, so it's got a bit of a shelf. And the panel will just kind of sit on there, like that. And then the only thing we have to do is to get these bolts into the... Here, these are M8 size bolts, you can see that fits in nicely through there. Um, these ones are a little bit less, maybe 7mm or something like that. So all you're going to do is just modify these brackets a little bit by drilling them out just a tiny bit bigger. Um, and that's it. And then we can just bolt it all together and uh, carry it up onto the roof. Get any ideas about pecking our solar panels? 
don't want to end up with fried chicken. <laughs> so we want to reuse the same bolts that we've been using for our Unistrut roof rack, but they're a little bit long to be able to go through the brackets of the solar panel and down into the Unistrut. They'd poke out the bottom. So we've just been experimenting with cutting it to different sizes. Could be here a while. I think we've got to find a quicker way to do this. Okay, take two. Hopefully, <laughs> a bit faster with this. <laughs> there we go. It's a good job we hadn't done like 30 of these before we realised we could use this. It's taken a while because we have to keep on moving everything, just a little bit shimmying it along and obviously the bolts are a bit tricky to get in, uh, especially up on a ladder. Um, and because basically we've got a tiny clearance for the max fan here, which we uh, can't move because it's already in there. Um, so we're just checking now if we can actually open it. So open it up, Abby. Oh, it's so close. It fits though. And we actually just worked out, we just calculated, we actually couldn't do it going three like this because we would need to have a fourth bar of Unistrut and just that amount extra would mean that we can't fit it in because we're already off the end. That, that one there is basically on the end of the Unistrut, I can't go any further. The last one, in theory, should just fit in like a glove, right into that spot there. In theory. <laughs> in theory, it's famous last words, isn't it? What could go wrong now? All right, so we ran out of time yesterday to completely finish, uh, but all we've got to do today is to just bolt them down. Um, before we, we do that, we're just going to connect up the wires underneath together, otherwise it would be really difficult. And we're going to enjoy that basking in the sunshine today. It's amazing today. I've had to put sun cream on, <laughs> which I didn't think I'd see the day. <laughs> it's lovely. Look at all this power we're getting right now. No. Oh well, it's all wasted. <laughs> Jackson, what are you doing up there? Okay, we are now down to the last two bolts from the last panel and then it's all done. It's taken a lot longer than we thought it would. It's, uh, it's not difficult, it's just really fiddly trying to get everything in, especially when you're up on the ladder. These ones aren't so bad because I'm here, but those ones over there in the middle, reaching across when you can't get on the roof, yeah, it takes a long time. So because of the weight of the solar panels just pressing down into the roof, the clearance is really low, so just to raise it up a little bit, we're just adding two of the penny washers we got just under there as well, just like that. And then a third one just on the top to actually act as the washer. And then the bolts we cut, which now are actually probably a little bit shorter than they could have been. And then the tricky part is just getting it all to line up, as you can see. There we go. There we go.
So we've just got to put the entry gland for the cables onto the roof so we can feed the cable nicely watertight down into the cab, into the van. So what we're going to do is just use one of the other holes on the van, which uh, this one shouldn't be threaded underneath. And we're just going to sit this there. You can see the insulation board down in that hole. So now we've just got to cut a hole through that just to feed the wires through. All right, so we've just built up the gland with some W4 tape and also on the van roof here because this little indent, it angles down weirdly. So we've just built it up in layers so it's nice and flat. So we're just working out which way the gland is to go best. We didn't really want to put it that way because we've got driving rain coming in when you're driving. We were originally going to have it pointing backwards. I can't really show you because it's too taut, but the wires didn't really want to go around that way. So we're just going to do it sideways instead. We've also just put a little grommet there just so that these don't chafe against the edge. Which fit perfectly, which is quite satisfying. <laughs> so messy with sealant. I've already put down some paper just in case. Not too bad. So there we are. Roof rack is on and solar panels are installed. I'm pretty happy with those. Yeah, it's looking good. Give us a like and subscribe below if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.